C3 Risk and Insurance Services. Guys, you need insurance. Everyone does. You got to see our friend Joe Earl over at C3 Risk and Insurance Services. Go to his Facebook right now. Facebook.com slash C3 Insured. If you get a policy with this guy, he's going to give you a $25 gift certificate to Amazon.com, a little store you might have heard of before. Hit him up. Get the insurance. It's going to be great. C3 Risk and Insurance Services. Stand Up Talk Now. Another offering from the Stand Up Talk Radio Network. Crime is a show where I, Rich Slayton, read a true story about lawbreakers. With his very sensitive co-host, John Chesky. Are you sensitive? Yeah. Are you feeling it? Yeah. I'm You're emotional very, today? I'm, I'm always emotional. I see emotional. it in your eyes. Fuck off. I'm going to play the music. Crime is the show that starts like now. now. Like right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do your line. Oh, okay. Each week, Rich reads a real crime story. I don't know a word that rhymes with story. And my homie John always has the hot riff. He really loves it when you send... Don't send anything send them to, to me. Him. Don't Let, you dare. Crime podcast at gmail.com. Yeah, don't you send Label anything. Label it John Chesky. He loves them. Make sure the lighting's really good. Guys, good to hear from you again. Shout out to Japan, our listeners in Japan. There's 25 of you. Where the fuck did you come from? There's Thanks tw- for... Ch- 25 people in Japan. Chicago, you keep bringing it. We love you guys. If you like the show, tell people about it. That's so not that many people, ja- 25 in a whole in country, Japan? Slayton. In Japan? It's a whole country, though. Yeah, but how many people do you know in Japan? I don't know Name them all Japan. right now. Exactly. 25 now. Right? 25 right. new friends. Guys, we're really excited. Today's guest, uh, a writer for two of the, the, the big hit shows of the last few years, The Carmichael Show and Blackish, one of the funniest comedians on the planet today. Please put your virtual hands together for Ian Edwards! Hey, what's up, yo? <laughs> <laughs> throwing throwing fire on that energy. Mm-hmm. That's it's juxtaposition power. That's what happens. I know. You and I go so high, everyone's like, I don't know where to go with that. And yeah. Ian especially, he's like the symbol of like just keeping it cool. I don't need to fucking jump to your guys' weird ass level. I can just be myself. Yeah, it's not even that personal. It's just lazy. I get it. <laughs> yeah. I aspire to it. You're an inspiration yeah. to all of us. Just, uh, conserving energy for one day. Just tell people like it's okay to be lazy. Yeah. Just chill out. Perfectly cool with that. Armin Muse was born on December 1st, 1961 in Essen, Germany. Armin Muse. Mm-hmm. He was born into a wealthy but unstable family. His mother, Waltrod. <laughs> yeah, right? Some horrible names in that family. Armin and Waltrod. Oh, Mama Waltrod. Had difficulty with romantic relationships. Armin was his mother's third child, all three from different fathers. She harbored grudges against the first two dads, refusing to give her older sons any information on their dads. Eventually, both boys left to live in Berlin, far away from mother. That's those are German names. Armin, Armin, Waltrod. I think I had a brother named like Urged or something weird like that. I can't remember now. That's all German stuff. Those are weird ass names, right? Not in Germany. That shit is normal. That's normal. Yeah, they'd be like, "Your name's John." What the fuck? Americans have weird names. Waltrod developed a taste for younger men. She was 19 years older than Armin's father. Younger men were more easily manipulated than... Is that a taste you develop just when you get older? I don't know. But for young... She's always been into... When she was 19, she dated 19-year-olds. You don't know that. So when she just turned 40... (laughs) She might have dated zero-year-olds at 19. It's impossible to date She had a lot of baby boyfriends, Ian. You got to be careful. We don't know the She always was into young men. She didn't develop a taste. (laughs) She just kept it. The way she always was. Yeah, it's the Days yeah. and Confused rule, yeah, yeah. right? I don't know about Days and Confused. Well, she gets older, they stay the same age. That's right. All right, All boom, right. There you go. <laughs> That's what's up. Matthew All right. McCall, hey. All right. Younger men were more easily manipulated and infantilized than men her own age. She also had a taste for expensive things, insisting that they buy a 43-room mansion in the countryside, the Wustfeld estate, so she could live out her fantasies of being a lord in the Middle Ages. Is that... Somebody could, bought that for her? Yeah, her third husband was like, all right, I guess we'll buy this weird country house. So I'm assuming this lady is fine as fuck. Mm, I don't know. I didn't see any pictures of her, actually. Oh, that's a shame. If, if a woman's pussy gets you a 43, how how big? 43-room <laughs> mansion. 43 me. How do you not? Oh, how big how dare, how dare you not look up her photo? <laughs> that's a good <laughs> That's um, the difference. If I was the researcher yeah, yeah. on this show, yeah. I'd just call, I would lose myself thing, in I, researching. First, I'd, I'd get to that part. i throw the page down, <laughs> and I'm looking at the bitch's photo. What were her titties like? You come back was with one page. Were these 43-room titties, or were these we, like 26-room titties? Yeah, exactly, which is still a significant difference, but still an accomplishment. Sure. Uh, we should, you should look her up on your phone. Somebody. I'm just saying, that, yeah, the, the rules. I, I would, but I can't spell the names. Waltroud? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's W A L T R O U D. Oh, Waltrip. you're so close. You missed it by one there letter. Was there an E at the very end? No, it was an A instead of an O. Ah. Yep. See? In 1970, Dad ran off with a girl his own age. Waltraud did not handle abandonment in a healthy way. After her first divorce, he ran off and left a 43 room mansion. Well, to be fair, it was kind of it was a rundown country mansion. Oh, which, now you tell us, Slayton. Which, well, I was in a game. At the into, beginning, like, it was a 43 room mansion. Yeah, that makes it a 26 room mansion. Yeah, yeah. It's a 26 room standard. Man, yeah. It's just a shithole with a lot of rooms. Hey, look, it's 43 in the country, but only 26 in the city. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right. Big difference. Mm-hmm. After her first divorce, divorce after divorce. her first divorce <laughs> did you divorce your spelling abilities <laughs> i did okay. sorry yes. oh it's been a hard Roast separation culture. my bad she reported her ex-husband's new girlfriend to the health office as a hooker with stds <laughs> this, that's she, a quote that's she would yeah. know yeah. yeah this time she wrote an anonymous letter to the state prosecutor accusing her third husband's new girlfriend as a murderer so yeah she's cool she's just like tramping people's names right now yeah this is so. This stuff isn't true. She's just like saying that. She's just saying that because she's pissed off. Okay. She's the worst ex-girlfriend. That's a, there's a well, show. not the worst. We've had some much worse ones on this show. Okay. Well, we haven't got through the story yet, so fair enough. Armin became man of the house, kowtowing to mother's every desire in an effort to avoid another abandonment. While his friends wore jeans to school, mother insisted that Armin wear traditional German lederhosen. No, in the seventies. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's child abuse! Isn't that awesome? I mean, it's funny now, but what's the later hosen look like? That's like those weird when German overalls. When you oh, see okay. Oktoberfest, and you're like, "What the?" So fuck? it was this Oktoberfest in January, February, March, mm-hmm. all year round. Isn't it crazy that that outfit, like later, became like the Nazi culture thrived in a culture where people dressed like that? You would think with a sense of humor to wear later hosen that Nazis could never come out of that. Nazis wore lederhosen. No, but I mean, like they, they, it, it came out of the German culture, like, and the lederhosen was a German thing. So you're saying that the irony that uh, such a mean culture came out of a culture that wore those wore fucking Lederhosen. goofy ass fucking like leprechaun. Like, you know what? Here's my, here's my counterpoint what? to that. Point taken is what? that lederhosen led to uh, Nazi? Nazis, and maybe con- coincidentally also led to. We're on page one of this guy. Oh my god! Just okay. want to tell you, yeah. lederhosen skirts, connection. Th- See you later, hosen. Skirts don't mean nothing. That's not you know. It's <laughs> a good point. Yeah. Uh, Armin's fondest mother-son memories revolve around reading the original violent grim fairy tales like Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, and Hansel and Gretel. The German version of them, which is way worse. It was around this time that Armin began to experience two major changes. Boners. First, he began to see an imaginary brother. Frank was a year younger than Armin, but looked just like his family members. Now he finally had someone who would never leave him. While this might seem strange... It's nothing compared to the other development that came somewhere between 10 and 12 years old. The novel Robinson Crusoe was first published on April 25th, 1719, and is often you say credited. Caruso? Robinson Crusoe. Oh, okay. Uh, I, might have, I might have said Crusoe the first yeah, time. Yeah. We have to correct Rich. It's totally fair enough. It's Robinson totally... Crusoe was first published in 20, blah, 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 mm-hmm. and is often credited as being the first true English novel. It is one of the most widely reprinted stories in Western literature and has been adapted for a number of films, one of which Armin watched as a child. The story is about a castaway who spends 28 years on a remote tropical island contending with mutineers, the numerous challenges of slave owning, and cannibals. <laughs> the challenges of slave owning? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's it was very it's, it's, it was, it's, it's exhausting. It was, I, mean, yeah, I don't know yeah. if you understand this. I mean, it was a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. People yeah, never yeah, have yeah, respect for, for the management level. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we you, know, I, I, you know, I've never respected managers, so I guess that's where this attitude is coming from. Yeah, yeah. Ian, they bad. get the good parking spot, but they're up all night trying to figure things out. Yeah, how to make you work. <laughs> In this version, for free for them. Yeah. two young men were lost at sea and one of them died. The survivor didn't want to lose his best friend to the open waters, so he considered eating him to keep him close. I don't know how that's supposed to work. Crusoe stopped him, but he couldn't stop the idea from planting itself firmly in the mind of young Armin. So Armin hears this story, and he's like, he's 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 into it. He's like, oh yeah, I'm obsessed with. Okay. He's like, he doesn't want to be left, and now someone's given him a way like, to make that never happen. Even before you go first, so he's going to eat his imaginary brother because that's kind of hard. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh, you still have room for well, I mean, a second. I don't know, I don't know how that. limited I your mean, imagination is, but <laughs> all right, we'll see what it's it took me two hours to eat that imaginary kid. In 1981, 19 year old Armin joined the German army. Over the next 12 years, he finally found relationships he was missing. The hierarchy of superiors and subordinates finally quenched much of his thirst for social stability. He even found love, briefly becoming engaged to a young woman, Petra, who he met through a dating broker. 
But Mother was no fan of Petra and vice versa. Everything soon fell apart. So that a dating broker is basically a human who today would be an app. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Right. The living Tinder. You could actually mm-hmm. go up to her and swipe things and be like, not that. She shows you the pages. You mm-hmm. just turn the page. Keep turning. All right. Yep. Soon after, he was convicted of a DUI, which derailed his military career. So by the early 90s, he began planning the rest of his life, training as a computer service technician, and banging his fellow soldiers on the DL. Just any soldiers? Or you want to get a little bit more specific, Rich? Or the guy just, ones. Just everyone's getting banged. So yeah. he had girlfriends. He's banging the guy's soldiers. Yep. He, does he still have an imaginary friend? This is the 90s. I mean, you know. He's, he's with everybody now. He's, he's fluid. He's early fluid. Does he listen to Stone Temple Pilots since it's the 90s? I assume so. Okay. 1994, Armin is out of the army and back home with mother. After a failed attempt at starting his own company, he lands a stable job as computer tech while selling his own refurbished PCs on the side. Okay, sounds like a freak already. He was living a pretty normal life, except for his favorite hobby, using his home computers to create photographs of torture scenes and altering gay porn pics to look like dissected men. What? Like he would Photoshop, like... Wait, he what? would take gay porn. Okay, so regular, Here you go. Healthy, you know what? I'll explain it right. healthy American gay porn. Go just, on. Just, or while mother porn. slept in the other room, Armin staged a series of pictures imagining out how he would act on his desires. In some of the photos, Armin played victim, pretending to be a disemboweled corpse in a bathtub or hanging from a butcher's hook like a slaughtered pig. He did all this without Photoshop. Uh, well, he had, he had very primitive early Photoshop, Photoshop. Like old school Photoshop. Which like is 1994 MS you, Paint, you, probably. You sure he had Photoshop? I don't think it was Photoshop. It was he might, some skills. He might have just had a paint that he just painted physically on the computer monitor. You could do that, you know. <laughs> in others, he cropped pictures of naked men to look like they were kept in cages or had limbs removed. Another picture showed the model of a male body made of marzipan, <laughs> bloody stumps made in of, place of its head, feet, and hands. Made of marzipan? The, yeah. Wait, isn't that like a candy or no, something like, like that? butter. Yeah. Yeah. He made butter people and then cut them apart. One picture like shows... European butter. <laughs> Oh, I wish there was a video podcast so they could capture oh, you my face. It oh, it boy. Oh, it's European butter. That's right. That's a good yeah. term for it. One picture shows Armin holding up a plastic bag with a dildo inside, representing a freshly cut penis ready for the freezer. So what's wrong so far? Yeah. I don't get this. He's, no, just, that, he's just like, you know, he's letting off a little bit. There's no crimes left. There's a strong, no strong lead in. Yeah. yeah. He can oh. just go, you go work at Not Scary Farm, you know? He knows all of his uh, weird horror gags. You know what's funny? Actually, my friend's older brother did a lot of things like this. And, just and, for, tof- and it's totally fine? Totally normal. He works at a... Com- he works... Actually, he works in computers now. He mm. works as like a video game uh, creator guy. But all in junior high and stuff, he did this kind of thing with makeup. And now he puts makeup. those in things in the video games. Yeah. 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 And then these kids, like this Armin kid, start playing the video games and they turn into freaks to make butter people. The final photo of the large collection showed him with a broomstick up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I just no. want you to guess that's what, the last picture. I just want you to guess the reason, like what, like what that was representing. What was he trying to represent with that one? With the, the, was it photoshopped up his? No, ass? no, it was a real broomstick up his real ass. How do they know? Um, for, I, for oh, because photos, this whole people? this whole uh, today's story is all based on an interview that an author did, a long like multi month interview that this author did with him, mm-hmm. and he was like, oh yeah, that's a picture that is a picture of me with a broomstick. Oh, on my okay, ass. so right, so, so he's got this photo like an art exhibit of like these different pictures, and the last one is the broom up his butt. Yeah. So what do you think that was supposed to represent? By the way, is he a witch? He's mm-hmm. a witch. He's no. trying to fly away. Nope. Uh, he's a he's a corn dog. No. I mean, oh, actually, very, much closer, much closer. Closer. He's a cor- Your corn dog is way closer than witch. A cl- Represent a man on a spit over a fire. Oh, like some weird fucking Inquisition I shit. I would have never mm-hmm. guessed that. Yeah, it, I mean, corn dog was corn dog was really close. weird. I was really good. I was just joking. I feel gross about joking. In about 1996, that. a severe car accident broke most of mother's ribs and damaged almost all her organs. You keep referring to her as mother. It's got a real Bates Motel feel to it. Yeah. Oh, what really? That's so weird. Yeah, it's after me three fuck months out. in oh, intensive fuck. care, she finally came home, but required all of Armin's free time to care for her. No, don't go out there. You must take care of me. But, but mom, mom, my pictures. You know, I gotta do my mom, pictures. I wanna do my graphic project. Oh, this is a really bad German accent. Fine. Yeah. The little social life he had vanished. All that was left was mother and his the computers. Little social life. <laughs> well, he, he had been hanging out with people and going out on some trips and going to bars occasionally. Social but, life was like sticking brooms up his ass. Well, that, no, was that was one his photo hobby. shoot, Ian. He had 364 Sorry, other days in that year. My bad. <laughs> he fended off his loneliness by watching TV, mostly films about corpses, injuries, cannibals, and horror porn. Before he go into bed, though, he would read magazines <laughs> featuring Mickey Mouse. He oh, had a serious? large collection of Mickey Mouse he magazines. He would combine those things? Yeah. He would go from torture you porn. Have balance in life, bro. 
You can't go to bed on torture pounds. porn. Can you watch torture porn? I can't. I, that stuff's fucking trips me the fuck out. Not my thing. I, and I think I'm talking about torture porn. I'm talking about like the same stuff you see on X Hamster. You're talking like, about BD, BDMS? BDSM, I think it is. Or BDMS. BDMS is multiple sclerosis porn. That is torture. It's it is very torturous. Just watching them try to move is just it's hell. Just watching them trying to fuck is hell. I do the 5K walk. That's all I can do. I can't do anything else for him. His true escape came in 1996 when he finally got the internet. It was here oh that God. Armin found he help. poured gasoline on his creep fire? Well, no. It was here that Armin finally found help in this form of an online support group run by volunteer psychiatrists. Oh. No, not at all. That's not what happened. <laughs> you uh, fucking asshole. Instead, he joined... He will a, lead us down dark alleys. He I'll joined a Yahoo Satan. group where he started posting his creepy pictures, including photos of fake penises made from pork sizzling in a frying pan. Ooh, I've never had hot dogs at this guy's house. <laughs> Things continued much the same way for a few years until September of 1999 when he came home from work to find Mother was dead. He was finally, truly alone. Then he cooked her. <laughs> no, no, actually, he was, pretty, he was pretty normal with her. Yeah, just turned her in. I'm not even leaving you another thing. He just was like, oh, yeah, mom's dead. Let's bury her. Oh, was a whole he had, like a normal, he had a normal funeral. Everyone Very was normal. Like, it was a beautiful did the, service. Did the two brothers come? Yes, they did. Right. They did. Well, no, one of the, actually, one of them was able to make it. The other one was on his honeymoon. So they videotaped no. the funeral, and when he came back, they it's watched it together. Bad timing, Mom. Yeah. He videotaped the funeral, and they watched it together? because well, the, the other brother wanted closure when he got back from his honeymoon. I understand the wanting of closure. These are Germans. I had a German roommate <laughs> when I lived in Scotland t- yeah. who, for fun, he would go to graveyards. That's what he would do all day is go to graveyards and write poetry. Oh, you that doesn't you sound You can't like generalize. That's not like a German thing to do. You know I have saying? met two Germans who like going to graveyards. Yeah. That's so two for me, out of maybe a, a billion Germans? Is that that many, that many there's Germans? Not that Probably many a billion. Germans. Yeah. That's there's what I'm not guessing. a billion I think Germans. At least. No way. Yeah, there's like 48 I'm gonna billion guess people in Europe alone. Are there really? No, there's six oh, billion fuck. people on this planet. I got to start researching more so I can argue with adults. <laughs> Outwardly, Armin God moved on from Mother's Death fairly quickly. He had her name removed from the phone book and refused to speak about her with friends. That sounds pretty normal. What friends? Yeah. The he, friends on Yahoo fucking <laughs> message group. <laughs> the the torture group. <laughs> How's your mother, yeah? <laughs> She's there. We don't speak of her. <laughs> hey, look at this picture of a spam cock I'm frying. Accent's <laughs> getting better. Back in the <laughs> manner, it, it was a, a different story. Uh, the only it's item... warming up. <laughs> <laughs> warming up this German accent. Yeah. You got to take it out like a schnitzel before it burns, yeah? <laughs> okay, go on with your story. The only item he got rid of the house was the bed sheet on which she died. But Mother was no longer around to occupy his time, so he dove deeper and deeper into the growing online abyss. He spent hours every night, often until morning, searching for more and more brutal, depraved, and bloody content. All this through dial-up. Jesus, you gotta really want it back then. (laughs) Yeah, I was gonna say... (laughs) Uh, yeah, how he, he uploaded those photos during oh dial up. Yeah, you're just, wait, you're just, just waiting. Like, where soldier. can I see the where can I see the bloody stump? It's just oh. ding, ding. Oh, the and, picture moves and that down. Modem sound going on as yeah. it's like as it's loading. Yeah. Too. Yeah. He, <laughs> must, he must really wanted to do this. Uh, I remember my friend Micah and I were uh, were on an like training pictures on an AOL chat room in like '97. Yeah. And someone take? sent us a picture. It was like "Hot Lesbians" was the title. We're like, cool. Nice. And it starts doing the download thing where it goes from the top down. Yeah. And it's this hot woman in this obviously a, like really in throes of passion. And she's taking a poop. And she's pooping in another woman's Peep. mouth. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. That, is, I got that. My friends did all that shit to me. Oh, that was so. that, that was actually fun, simple American pranks. Or yeah. I should say global pranks. By Early that time. internet was a you lot just, of fun. Someone would be like, hey, check. Hasn't changed, just got faster. Sure. Same sure. shit. Uh in the year got that oh. shit photo yesterday. <laughs> I gotta check my phone. I'm getting a shit photo right now. No, I'm just joking. In the year 2000, it's estimated that around 110,000 people around the world were visiting a few dozen cannibal-related websites and discussion forums. That many people? A hundred fucking grand people? <clears throat> mm-hmm. were People can- ran can- ads. Cannibals are real, y'all. And they're into it. They're it's down. Like, it, it, maybe it's like some sort of primal instinct. Did you see that guy, uh, Reza Aslan or whatever, who has that show up on oh, yeah, that guy's like, awful. History Channel yeah. or Discovery about... Oh, yeah. He ate human flesh on one of those shows. Oh, God. That guy's such a fucking idiot. It's a food show? Yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, they Anthony, fired that guy. Anthony Bourdain, Parts Tasted. So. That's not what it's called. And Anthony Bourdain is fucking awesome. All right, go on with your story. <laughs> people ran ads like a personals page looking to eat other people, some offering to be eaten. All it took was a simple click to make contact. How do you offer to be eaten? You're not going to be there to be like, you're eating me, huh? Did I fulfill my end of the deal? Like, oh, buckle up. (laughs) Armin began to make friends. Luke (laughs) wanted to be stuffed with lemons, seasoned, and roasted like a chicken. What a weird fantasy. Mateo wanted to be singed with a flamethrower, then beaten to death, 
then have his penis nailed to a board before being consumed. Yeah. What the hell kind of website did these guys go to? Yeah, what, kind, what the hell kind of podcast did you invite us to? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this is the goriest thing I've ever fucking... Yeah, these but, people want... We're doing this in a basement. We yeah, are in a bit. We're doing it in a place where, where murders have but a, yeah. assuredly happened. But it's the comedy store basement. I don't think there's been cannibalism here. There's probably the been comedy like store murders. There's probably been a few cocaine overdoses. I don't think anyone's eaten anyone's wiener down here. It's still time. Yeah, there's yeah, still you time. You just really made me feel better. I just left it open. <laughs> Lock the doors! <laughs> Ian, this is a sacrificial pa- mm-hmm. podcast. Um... <laughs> No, th- okay, so now th- th- these people asked to be eaten. Yes. So this is how they meet you on the internet. They're like, hey, are you interested in eating someone? I want to get eaten. They're posting personal ads. It's, it's like Craigslist for cannibals. <laughs> but where's the satisfaction? You're not going to be there to know that you're let's being find, stuffed with lemons. Let's, I guess let's find out. I don't get it either. I'm with you, but... Now that Armin yeah, finally knew Sorry. he was not alone, <laughs> he began to plan in earnest. He converted a 200-square-foot room that had been used for years to smoke meat and fish. <laughs> he added... this J.K. Rollins... <laughs> The, is this I read this is this is me. I did this research. Oh, yeah, no, and Slay, this. A, he's a master writer. Yeah, I go to the library, bro. <laughs> he added waste new your tables. Waste your time like that. <laughs> he added new tables, screwed butcher hooks into the ceilings, hun- oh. uh, another hundred feet of heavy duty rope, and placed <laughs> mattresses against the walls for noise. Oh, for noise! Just outside the room, he set up a table for Am his I tools. Am I gonna be able to sleep after this episode? Probably You're freaking not. me the fuck I, out. I, I was finishing this freaking? research. No, uh, this is. This is I the actually, fucking. I actually I told Chesky. I don't handle violence very well. I it's told Chesky I was like, I don't know. This one might actually. We might actually walk our first guest. Oh, today. that's funny. So, oh, Ian's gonna actually get up. Well, it's, it's yeah. more exercise. Just outside the room, he set up a table for his tools: four new butcher knives of varying lengths, a meat grinder, a rubber hammer, and three boxes of Ziploc freezer bags. All staged on beautiful silver serving <laughs> He's platters. Got Ziploc. It's like a Ziploc commercial. He turns it upside <laughs> down. See? Keeps it fresh. Nothing comes out. It's a guy's face. <laughs> Keeps it fresh. No freezer burn on this guy's dinger. Well, here's. Uh, so at this point, we're just. This is all just fantasy. He's communicating with people online. They're yeah. talking about what they want to do. You just said he's building a fucking rape dungeon, so I'm a little bit... Uh, a f- I mean, it's, it's a 43-room mansion. At what point do you not have like a murder room in a 43-room mansion? That is a good Sounds point. Like, you, have, you have a gym. You have a studio. Like more like a human kitchen. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, accurate. It's not even really a, you know, a dungeon. You know, he did he did actually install a range in there too. So yeah, yeah, like yeah, a rifle yeah. range, like a no no, no like a, a um, stove, a stove. Yeah. Oh, when them, you know, big a grill big, yeah. more accurately. Okay, yeah, yeah. Armin stage <laughs> another rotisserie <laughs> grill. When you, you know, when you cook to have people over, <laughs> that type of size thing. What do they say? Like, I'd, lo- I'd love to. Ha- what do they say? I'd love to have, have you for dinner. Have you for dinner, like wink, wink, <laughs> nudge, nudge. Such a cannibal. Go on with your story. You can just Uber. You don't need to. You don't need your car. Uber. That's a German term. Get mm-hmm. out of here. They're freaking me out. Armin staged another photo shoot. This time for the benefit of Matteo. They chatted for a while, but came to an impasse when the Italian insisted that Armin meet him in his home country before they fly back to the fuck murder dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> you named it that. Well, that's really what it is. <laughs> Eventually, Matteo wrote back that he'd met a woman and Armin was forced to move on. I've decided I'd like to not be eaten. I I'm, found love. Come on, but y- you know what's so much better than love? B- me eating your leg. It's but way better. The dude's all pussy whipped. I know. I want that, but she won't let me. Oh, that bitch hmm. came between how do you, us. How do you sexy talk somebody <laughs> into letting you eat them? First, I'm going to saw off your right leg. I think the way and you said then, it right now might actually be the exact way. I think, way I think your tone of voice on. is the only way to do it. And then yeah. I'm going <laughs> to... What if Ian somehow put lured a us into to here? your throat. <laughs> and cut it up. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take this uh, new seasoning I got at Trader yeah. Joe's. I'm going to sprinkle Look, it all over yeah. your brain. This is... I think, like, yeah. this is the art... Yeah, tell me more. <laughs> Go ahead. I've got this artisan focaccia bread. I'm going to eat your hand mm, up. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be... <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning and the heat from the stove wakes me... Lego my eggs at my huevos. It's just R. Kelly's next 15 part song mm-hmm. is about eating you. Oh, yeah, I'm going to eat you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat on I'm you. I'm going to eat you, girl. Uh, that was really that flat. That just sounds regular <laughs> sexual. I was really flat. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, so, having been rejected, Armin took out his own ads online and created his own online discussion group. He yeah, operated. Because those guys were just flirts. Yeah, these guys were wasting his time. He's, he's all bummed. For, for he's cannibal like, teases. They're, they're what's known in the, in the in the cannibal industry is just flakes, just like in the regular world, you know? Yeah. They're it's just the worst. flakes. Yeah, yeah, people are people, no matter what they do. Yeah, yeah. You they know? know better. So he puts ads out like, uh, with like that say like, hey, want to get eaten? Under the Call pseudonym me. of Frankie, mm. the same name as his, for, as his imaginary friend, he, he, he put his ad, hi, I'm Frankie from Germany. I'm looking for young men between 18 and 30 years to slaughter. If you have a normally built body, then come to me. I'll butcher you and eat your delectable flesh. Um, it's pretty straight up. Yeah. Uh, who's flipping through the page and goes like, 
I got to give this Frankie guy a call. He's like, and you know what the best part is? He's doing it for free. I mean, I don't have to yeah. pay to be eaten. Right. That's amazing. These who, people all have tumors in their heads? Like, what the fuck are they doing? Who would answer such an ad, you ask? That, that is what I was asking. Apparently, lots and lots of people. I believe that. I'm not surprised. Armin made direct contact with over 400 people, including 60 who offered themselves as slaughter victims, seven who wanted to participate in the butchering, and another 10 who claimed to have done or planned one themselves. Are these already just suicidal people that are like, I just don't want to kill myself, but if someone else does it, like they don't John, even have the balls? Grow up. Seriously. It's out there. It's 2017. Yeah. What are you, this was the 90s. You're cannibalist? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm not into cannibalism. You don't, yeah. I, I, you discriminate. Look, I sexuality is a spectrum. He's Fuck act, you. <laughs> he's acting like Game of Thrones ain't real. I hate people like that. Well, I know that. it was real at one time. I can understand that there was times that I wasn't around to see like what the culture was like and how people were brought up to be so fucking dirty and bad. But like nowadays, it's just kind of hard to be like, you look, really? you sometimes after eaten? a hard day's work, you want someone to eat your foot or your face or your dick or whatever. Just part of me. Yeah. Just eat my finger so I can experience it. I just, you know, I just, cross it off my bucket list, but still be here the next day. Look, you just want to be close and sometimes sex isn't enough i want to be like, in you like in, your intestines yeah the part i can't reach with my mm-hmm. member that didn't sound sometimes nice. sometimes people want somebody all up in their guts <laughs> literally like i want to be digested i don't yeah. mean i want to have sex with you i, I want to be broken into proteins and, and your body make new things out of me in july of 2000 armin began talking with a man who went by yorg it's low carb right? yorg wanted armin to help him butcher and eat two men he disliked at work <laughs> before <laughs> that i can that's, understand that's a little different. that i can totally understand yeah it's a different guy, tone though the, hold on <laughs> before allowing himself to be eaten as well he was oh. like look i'll offer you a three-course meal uh here's two guys i don't like and then as a as a thank you what industry do these guys work in uh fuck i forget they're, now. they're all insurance salesmen right yeah, they're all, they all work for C3 Risk and Insurance <laughs> Services out of San Diego, California. <laughs> My wife will get all the money. Eat me. That's our sponsor, in case <laughs> you were curious. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love that. Uh, yeah, C3 probably. Uh, Armin was ecstatic, especially after Jorg agreed to meet. The men went to a hotel room where they videotaped their encounter, a long session where Armin marked up Jorg's naked body with a pen, indicating Plastic how he might... Plastic style? Yeah, like, doing the dotted Where the, the cuts lines. are going to be? This is the brisket right here. Yeah, like that, that thing where you see a pig and it's all... Because yeah. Jorg is up. like, I need to know if you know what you're doing. <laughs> you can't get eaten <laughs> by someone by an you amateur. You can't get eaten by an amateur. Like, I need to see the line stitching. Like, mm-hmm. if you trusted every dude with a cleaver that yeah, you yeah. said, I'm going to eat you, you'd be... Yeah. Pretty disappointed half the time, I'm sure. Yeah, they do. They do your leg all wrong. Plastic surgery is like so much like porn. <laughs> oh, now do tell, yeah. Because <laughs> explain this like, story. Like you ever watch those like amateur porns um, where the guys like while. the girl comes in yeah. and then he's like, "Well, we need to see your body mm-hmm. to." Oh, you yeah, know, casting couch, movies. casting oh, yeah, couch. Yeah, sure, sure. That's and all. Then you I go watch. to a plastic yeah. surgeon and say, "Okay, I need to see your body so I know what I'm going to do to it." Yeah. And the girl takes a shirt off and he starts doing yeah, like, a simulation. It's like the same shit. Tragedy struck uh, as at I'm gonna give you at 85 years old. Ian Edwards passed away. The family going through his belongings nah, found thousands of nah, hours of nah. plastic surgery videos. Nah, there's, so, no, there's no correlation. Which I'm just doing the story. It doesn't doesn't make me. I think that we've that ex- I think we've exposed Ian Edwards as so. into plastic that's, surgery. That is porn. so weak. That, that's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're pretty weak. I, don't worry, and I won't let him go to the press about yeah. this. this. Later that month, Yorg came to the house. <laughs> Armin took him up at the top to the top floor slaughter room. When and then Yorg told him. Uh, I don't have the time. I'm I don't just like passing where the slaughter room is. Should the, be on the first floor. Why on the first floor? Just for the for the hauling purposes. I, 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 mean, I would say so the you got to take a body parts downstairs. It's bad planning, but go ahead. I always thought it would be in a basement, like what we're saying. Then you got to drag bodies upstairs. That's true. No, you well, they walk upstairs because they're all volunteers. Yeah, but when you're done, you're you're alone. Sure. With all this dead weight. Sure. But, you know, However, if it's in little chunks, it'd be just like carrying a piece of salami down. That's a good point. Seventy or eighty. I times. hate moving. <laughs> so do I. Well, yeah, that's why I'm never afraid of you eating me or eating yeah, me upstairs. Exactly. Ah, Hans, that's, do you have a truck? That's why I would never kill anybody. It's like moving. Too lazy. Yeah. yeah. Just extra work. Every every movie where they're pulling yeah. the body, like, geez, that must hurt your back. I, I hate one night stands because it's all it's the same as it's it's just as hard to get a one-night stand to leave your house as it is to get rid of a dead hooker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's all the same? It's all dead weight? It's, it's just like... You're still going like how this? How am I... Yeah, it's like... Pushing. How are you going to get this person? It's the same thing to me. That's why I just like, fuck it. You're like, hey, I, I got you, you an Uber, Uber and, and a Lyft. Fucking body. Yeah. They're both outside. Yeah. It's just two bags of meat next to your bed. <laughs> get out of here! Yeah. Come on! 
I got shit I gotta do. So it's 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 just as tough to get. It's sometimes harder to get a living girl out of your house as a dead girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> it's the, even tougher. Yeah, a dead girl won't argue at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, she won't ask for breakfast. <laughs> So you, they get to the slaughter room and Yorg tells him, uh, I don't have the time. So, I'm just passing through. So he's starting he's, he's starting to he change his mind. He's starting yeah. to back out. Well, to, to Yorg, it was just a fantasy, not a reality. Like and he, But he likes engaging to the point where he's saying to these. He loved the role play but and yeah, the fantasy it, of it all. This is So I lost track of the story. This is after. So now they're at his house. They've come. Now Yorg has come First to his house. In a hotel mm-hmm. and videotaped it. Yep. And it's the same trip. A different trip now. So, and then it, then he comes to the house. They're what developing a, like a, a what friendship, a, what a relationship. A fucking tease. Go I know ahead. it's cannibal. But blue you balls. can see how like how somebody would think like, of course, no one's really trying to say they eat me. No one will post. But an you ad. just met in a hotel, discussed it, and then went home, had time to think about it. Bought an. Where's York from? Uh, he's also German. Oh, I these believe. are Germans, dude. Yeah. Right. So we so can't then, even pretend so to try not to understand any Germans, of them. But what part of Germany? Like how far? Uh, I believe York was from Berlin. And then where's your Crazy this is about from? 90 minutes, two hours outside of Berlin. Yeah, then you jump on a train or a car mm-hmm. or, and yeah. then drive over to see the side. So he says, not, unless, Look, he's, you can't unless, eat he's, unless he's a cop and he's wearing a wire. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah. Oh, that would make me nervous. That, 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 that makes sense. Well, that's one of the, my favorite parts of this story is at no point is Armin ever like, are you a cop? You have to tell me. You know, he's just kind of like, oh, yeah, this is come in. Look at my murder dungeon, my murder <laughs> attic or whatever. Uh, but as they say, the night is always darkest before the dawn. In early 2002, Armin stumbled on a new ad. The headline. So Yorg just bounced. Yorg was like, yeah, it's it's not into this. He got close, as many killers do. He got close, and it was like, I'm about to do this thing that I've been waiting, building up to do, and then it didn't happen. Yeah, and, and Yorg was like, not into it. And now Armin found somebody else's ad. Or There's he made an ad it. that the headline reads, you know, your dinner. I mean, I'm just mad. It, I'm just, you know, like say you're almond and you didn't eat all day because you think sure. you're going to have some Yorg. Yeah. And he just bounced. It's just fucked up. It's analogous to any kind of. Uh, you get cannibal friend zone. It's the worst. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're like, I took you out Terrible. to dinner. Funny. That's we funny. went and yeah. saw a movie. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't fuck anybody else for the whole week because yeah. I knew oh, I was going to be wearing yeah. a condom. I didn't eat anybody and now else you don't for the fuck. whole week. Yeah. And <laughs> I brought yeah. you the best boner yeah, yeah. and my sharpest knife. Yeah, exactly. And now you just leave. I'm like, I'm, you know, my appetite is hard. I'm ready for you. If you understand. Yeah. Fucked me over. <laughs> My tongue's got a boner. Let's do this. Burned Jurgen Brandis. His name was burned. Burned. Oh wow, it's, it's a burned. different dude. This, this guy's yeah. getting barbecued. New guy. And this his name barbecued. is similar to Jorg. Yeah, they're all Jorg. German. It's Jorgen Jorgen Dorgens. Yeah. This is the guy who posted the ad headlined "Your Dinner." Burned Jurgen Brandis was a forty-year-old, forty-four-year-old microchip engineer for the large corporation of Siemens. These are all these weird computer dudes. Mm-hmm. Computer dudes, man. Yep. On the surface, he's family's was, computer dude. No, freaking that's, me out. That's why they help to build the internet so they have a place to go <laughs> to find. Yeah, they're to, like, to find, to, <laughs> we need a way like, to communicate yeah, with other yeah, yeah, animal yeah. people. Eaters. We need to develop this internet <laughs> and computers to, so that we ha- we can find <laughs> we, to the, go to the depths well, of to, weirdness. You used to build a cannibal. You'd be machines. like, let me just go kill the people at the next village over and eat them. That was easy. Mm-hmm. And then now it's like, ugh, there's cops and you know people Laws. are yeah. It's yeah. so it's ridiculous. So you have to find your community. Yeah. Look. Everyone has a person. I believe that. And this is a really, in my opinion, is a story of how love finds a way. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> On the surface, Byrne was a highly paid fit gay man with stock options. But underneath that surface, underneath, he was a highly fit gay man with stock <laughs> options. <laughs> underneath, he was trapped at five years old, the oh. age when his mother took her own life. His father had refused to talk about it and eventually rejected his son when Byrne came out of the closet. Byrne spun into a vortex of masochism eventually becoming fixated on one burning desire. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> to have his, I can't believe you put that in there. To have his penis <laughs> bitten off by a man, oh, then be eaten alive. Holy fuck. Yeah. Bitten off? That's not even a clean... Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bitten off by a dude. It, so for a while, I uh, he went to prostitutes, and oh, he would hire them to give blowjobs, and he would have them like nibble on it, or bite it harder, or hold a knife against it, and none of them would really could really satisfy his urges. All this time, I thought the story was about Armin's mom, but go ahead. Nope. Nope, in she's way, been it, dead for... Oh, it is. A, in a way, it's about her. It's, it's about been, the way she, a mom can impact your life. She's been dead for this minute, a minute I, in this story. I could say that might be some causal things going on. There. This is actually... Uh, I just know that this story's been optioned as a Hallmark movie about Shut how mothers influence up. sons. I wasn't going to believe that. You never had me. Yeah, I know. I should have said, said FX. FX. FX should have said it. Netflix. Uh, what's my Bravo would do it. True TV. Yeah. It's a new True comedy from True TV. 100%. Wiener eater. Quote... 
I offer myself to be eaten alive, his, his ad read. No slaughter, but eating. Therefore, whoever really wants to do it needs a genuine victim. He quickly received a reply. <laughs> Hello, I read your... As soon your- as he posted up, <laughs> yeah. ding, you have mail. What the Hello, fuck? I read your ad. I'll slaughter you, but only if you really want me to. Let me hear from you, your master butcher, Frankie. Your master butcher? Mm-hmm. Sincerely yours? Yep. I like Frankie's internet honesty. Right? He's always straight up. I think that's the beauty of the internet, though. You don't have to be an eye you contact person. You know that if he had a profile picture, it's not like from above. It's, it's definitely funny. straight on. It's, it's, it's funny. I like how people catfish people just to date, but he's being honest about murder. Oh, yeah. You know? like People can't catfish people to not even date them. And He's like, hey, man, I want to kill you and eat you. And he's not even covering it up. No, nope, you know, no sugarcoating. No sugarcoating. Just you well, know, you know, this I, is this is there's things to admire about this dude. Two thousand was a more honest era. <laughs> Let you this know? be a lesson. There, there yeah. are some things that I think that we've lost in the last seventeen years as oh, the yeah. internet's grown bigger, and one of them's honesty. And this guy, yeah. to be fair, this is I'd, cannibal. I'd, I'd, I'd only catfish somebody to get on the show catfish, <laughs> but that's it. Sure. Not because I really want to catfish them. I catfished Chevsky. That's how he made it on this show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but I'm grateful for mm-hmm. the situation. This is unlike a guy who wants to get his wiener eaten. And I then feel like y'all just catfished me down to this basement. <laughs> that was just right. Lock the door. Lock the door. Talking about you have a podcast. Yeah. yeah. No, this isn't recording. This story that you wrote. He's hey, not recording. You, you, you look at the things like the lights off and like the tape deck falls open. There's no tape in there. There's no film in the camera. We have a podcast about how you started in comedy. If you want to come on down to this murder dungeon, the comedy store. You know, none of our guests have ever made it out of the dungeon alive. And so went the creepiest meat cute of all time the men wrote back and forth over the next month the emails were part romance like he's like courting him yeah oh they would they would get on like chat on okay. like aol chat and just like have teenage style all night chat that sessions was AOL chat. Mm-hmm. oh my god the emails were part romance part penthouse letters and part grindhouse do you script. remember the first person you ever spoke to on aol chat no, I remember like uh, some of the first people that I spoke to on that. Oh, yeah. How was that? Who were they? It was trippy. Uh, I my God, I feel like a dork. Uh, my, my it was before internet dating, like uh, mm-hmm. Tinder and all this stuff. This was like 15, 20 years ago. I remember. Mm-hmm. And just my friend was like, "Yeah, dude, you could just meet chicks on like Yahoo Messenger or whatever. Right. You just go to these forums that were like related to anything that you were into, music's or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then music's you could just you know you t- you click on it and be like, "What's up?" And like there were yeah, you, I, I met I met some chicks. A S L. Cool, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely had the. Uh, what do you call it? What, are they, what are you talking about when, when chicks hold the phone up really high so they look a certain way? Then mm-hmm. you meet them in person. Like, then you don't look like the chick in the picture, but you still end up hooking up with them. That's what I was saying. Armin <laughs> would never. Would, Armin's <laughs> angle would always be straight on to make sure you knew what you were getting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This Armin's guy is an honorable character. Armin, 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 honest Armin. Armin. He's on, uh, honest yeah. Armin. He's honest about Armin. about bad shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's well. Pretty, you know, my dating philosophy has always been, and this is real. It's put your worst foot forward. Like, go out there and just be you. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to get trapped you're in a Norman. shitty relationship. You're like, I fired. I yeah. fired on first dates. You know, good call. You gotta let, just let the woman know. Like, you're gonna. This is what's gonna happen. And I didn't <laughs> brush my teeth. I'm just joking. I brushed my teeth. Burned arrived on the train from Berlin to Wustfeld on March 9th, two thousand one, at ten fourteen a.m. Covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> he looked around for a man in a red checked scarf. The sign that he had found, Frankie. They drove for an hour back to Armin's home, the giant manor at Wustfeld. Burned waste no time, immediately stripping naked and demanding to see the slaughter room. Uh, there they fooled around for exactly 14 minutes and 30 seconds. How do you know that? Yeah, because right. Armin does... taped it. All right. All right. The session ended Fair when enough. Burn got pissed off that Armin wouldn't bite him hard enough. Mm. Oh, so he, was, he had his mouth on his, on his dick already and he was just like... Oh, he was just, oh, he's biting him in general. And they talked about how Armin, like, Byrne shoved his hand in Armin's mouth. Yeah. It was like, bite me. And Armin bit him. He's like, you're not even drawing blood. You're a fucking pussy. <laughs> so. I mean, Armin's new to this to be, you know. Well, I think I think Byrne would have really done well in today's dating world because everyone's into, like, choking and spitting and slapping. Or biting. He's past I, that, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's past that. Well, he was forward. He was progressive. He was forward thinking. Yeah, yeah. He was an innovator. Yeah, he's, he's really forward, backward thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, Byrne had enough. Accusing Armin of being unwilling to satisfy his urges, he demanded to be driven back to the train station. This guy's mad that he didn't get his dick bit off? Yeah. Yeah. What a weird so thing to be pissed about. There are some people like that. Yeah, I mean, I've, yeah. Like, I've had that problem <laughs> for a make, long time. You can't make everyone happy, can you? Yeah, yeah. So, so pissed. you're pissed. I feel like it's like an argument with your wife. Like, you're, so you're pissed that I didn't bite your dick off? Yeah. Jesus! Yeah, I can't do anything right. Yeah, some, some guys are pissed that their girlfriend didn't cheat on him so they could break up with them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Well, this, I, this on, I gotta stay with this honest bitch. Well, oh, that's the worst. Yeah, so you, oh, her with her her with her now, love and ethics. Now, now I gotta stop cheating on the chick that I'm cheating yeah. on her with 
because this you, you bitch, know, you're giving I, me a guilt trip. I understand Burns' frustration. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, when they arrived at the train station, Armin made one final gambit. Quote: All my life, I have wished for someone I could take into myself, and who would remain with me always. Shame it has nothing as it, it come to nothing with us. I thought you were really nice. Burn considered it for a moment, then had a change of heart. He agreed to come back and try again. Hmm. Before heading home, Burn drank his second bottle of Night Nurse, what a very strong cold medicine, and took ten sleeping pills that the pharmacist specifically told him not, not to, to take, take with the liquid yeah, cold don't, remedy. Don't take this with the Nyquil. Yeah, don't yeah. don't do that at all. <laughs> whatever you do, don't take this. But I'm sure whatever you do, kind of things is the stuff that he's you know still going to be doing, right? Whatever you do, don't. Look at this guy's a rebel. Burn, Burn doesn't listen to ways society wants to tell him how to act, how to live. Yeah, he's his own man. You can tell by the chat room he was in. <laughs> yeah, that he's a contrarian. Yeah, that he don't. Once he's made it to that like chat that. room, they always said don't have your dick bitten off. But yeah. what do they know? You, you, you could tell by the way he's unsatisfied that his dick was bitten wasn't bitten hard enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I'm this, looking down I'm still I, seeing a listen, friend I'm... the NyQuil and 10 pills thing doesn't surprise me <laughs> at this point <laughs> I'm saying he's on a train to a guy's house and he said take me home because you haven't hurt me enough yeah you haven't bit off my dick enough yeah, you haven't caused enough physical pain take me home super trippy I'll yeah. never understand that one when they got back burned wasted again wasted no time insisting they get to it they went to the slaughter room where Armin's video camera recorded for the next four hours. There is actual video footage of this. Pe- cops, pe- people, cops, jury members had to watch all the things you're about to hear about. All right, let's hear it. Dude. The video opens with Armin trying and failing to cut off Burns' penis. How do you oh. fail? Oh. They what argued you... over the sharpness of the knife. I'm gagging. Oh. Shit, son. So Armin got a different one, which also apparently wasn't sharp enough. Sharp enough? Sharp enough. <laughs> sharp enough. So they go to a third knife, and this time it worked. Woo! How did, yeah. How did that go? Uh, I a sawing. So there you go. I was trying to avoid the word sawing, no, but no, just get to it. Yeah. Man. Does Burn it. even feel anything if he's on ten sleeping he's, pills? He's, and, well, yeah. He's like oh. it hurt him at first, and he was like, "Oh, you know what?" Once it was off, he was like, "You know what? I actually feel totally fine." Oh, and they no, bandaged I don't know why he took all those pills. Yeah. All right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wouldn't. So he wouldn't be all fucked. It's like he 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 kind of <laughs> like layman layman anesthesia himself. Yeah. It was like cortisone shots. He was like, just get that in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, put, me, put me back in, coach. My knee's fine. As his friend, I would have been like, you know, you're, when those pills wear off, you're probably going like, to feel a little uncomfortable. Like, with your... He's like Ronnie Lott when he told him to cut his finger off so he'd get back in the game. Yeah. yeah. This is the Ronnie Lott of cannibals. Yeah. Uh, Bern, Bern asked for half his severed member. Oh, I'll say it in, the, 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 never in present tense. Bern asks for half his severed member, then tries to eat it raw. His own dick? Mm-hmm. He wanted to eat his own dick. Yeah. Or half. He wanted to share. He wasn't rude. So he's, he's a how he's a good house guest. Man, this guy's It's a delicacy. This guy's bout it. Yeah. Oh no, he's he's down. He's down to roll. Just a raw dick. Your own raw dick. When he laments that it's too chewy, Armin mm. suggests that it might be better if it's cooked. So he took he he takes the two halves down to the kitchen. These guys are having a legit conversation about the culinary <laughs> fucking arts this. of this guy. I need to see this video. Penis cooking. Because I can't imagine like these the conversations are actually weirder than yeah the Anything, that's brutality. what's actually happening because nonchalant to, conversation yeah like to you know to have these conversations while in the middle of all this stuff you know it's just bananas to well me. there's there's actually a lot of talk about all this kind of weird super masochistic crime stuff mm-hmm. that the most common response from the people who are doing it is always to become super normal and like to act- make to make weird not be exactly. Make make weird normal. Yep. So they can cope with it and go through with it. All yeah, right, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have any paprika? <laughs> well, that's Maybe not what can... he used. Armin took the two halves down to the kitchen, blanched them, seasoned them with blanched salt. Blanched them. Yeah, like sl- boiled them for a minute. But if he has a sous vide machine, he's like, I like to marinate them. <laughs> <laughs> he sous vide them. Uh, it's, it's nice. I have it with duck. It's really good. Uh, he seasoned them with salt, pepper, and garlic before frying them in a pan of oil. Any onion? You got to grill onions with your meat. He arranged the halves on a plate with some fresh tomatoes and, and took them back to burn. Doing in the meantime? He's, he's just kicking it. He's just lying in the bed, being like, "All right, this well, is all over the place." My dick's super gone. This is pre-Instagram when people take pictures of their food, though. That'd be yeah, great. <laughs> just that like, top down. It looks like you overcooked your scallops. Hashtag best. blessed. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> he oh. took them. He he true, put them. F- true foodies. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say hashtag foodies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he plated them with some fresh tomatoes. Took them back upstairs to burned. Oh. Unfortunately, they were overcooked. 
Oh my god, I'd be so pissed. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking dry. We got one shot yeah, at one cooking sh- my one dick. One fucking shot at cooking my cock and then so Look, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I was I was frying the dick and we'll then cut yours off then and do it right. That's I mean, not have how you this ever works. Dick before? Don't complain to me. Look, my my, my 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 show was on and I got a little distracted. I was I thought I was coming back at the commercial. Red meat's so easy to not overcook. You literally just put it on whatever you're cooking um, for a very short amount of time. Are white yeah, meat. You sir. Said, you said are we white on. meat? Yeah, we're like pork. Yeah. The other white meat. We're the other other white meat. I just think I you should have said it on a salmon or sushi. Oh, right? Yeah. Oh, God, I love salmon and sushi. Beef tartare, too. So when, when it was too tough to eat, Dick tartare. Burns suggested that tomorrow morning they could try his balls. In the morning? In the morning? Yeah, what kind of planning do these people do? You think you know, there's going to be 12 hours of this guy being all was, right? You know what? It was a long night. Did he yeah. stitch him up? Did he suture? They, he like bandaged him, but didn't do a great job. All right. Uh, it's got half a stump bleeding all over the place. Of this. Okay. Next, Byrne decided he wanted to take a bath while he bled out. So yeah. Armin helped him to the tub, drew the water, and yeah, then went downstairs to a read idea. a Star Trek novel. Okay. A star- who <laughs> fucking, my who's favorite into detail. Gene Rottenberry but also wants to eat people's fucking bodies? I think aren't Look, Star- Gene Rottenberry say- was about accepting different cultures from throughout the universe. Sleep? Ian. There's no time it's for... It's too exciting. There's so much no, beef You're dick. pumped up. Listen, you just yeah. cut off a dick. Listen, man. Yeah, adrenaline. Listen, they said they're going to go at it again in the morning. Get some rest. Get, get some, some shut eye. Yeah. I get it. You know what? That that, that would have been good planning, but sometimes you're just... You're too in the moment. Yeah. I mean, you have choices. I, I, I'm not complaining about... I would have just chose sleep, but that's just me. Go ahead. Sleep now? With this, with this a bloody nap. dick fountain? Are you kidding me? I this mean, is the show. The dick fountain's taking a bath. Oh, my God. He's just laying there, and it's just like squirting up like a little palm tree of blood. <laughs> Hey, come look at this. Yeah. Feeling kind of lightheaded there. When I squeeze my jaw, I think oh, it go higher. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jesus. He flexes. <laughs> and it shoots. Ha uh, <laughs> ha, gotcha. Shoots blood. Okay. Just. Hey, come smell this flower. Okay, keep, keep, <laughs> no, that's not. Gotcha go again. With your, your A couple story. hours later, your Armin moved the nearly drained story. burn to bed and then returned to finish his novel. At 3.30 in the morning, he heard a thud and he found burn on the floor trying to make it to the bathroom. Burn insisted he had to go. I have to what? piss, he said, as he tried to stand. Yeah, this, this story For computer crazy. programmers, they're then really collapsed. bad at problem solving. As, you think there'd be a flow chart that would say where this needs to go. I have to piss were his last words. That's pretty fucking hilarious, though. Yeah. Who would want that? Guys, out of the three of us, I have to piss. Last words. Look, if I'm fun. ranking my top 10 last words, I have to piss is at least in the top 55. There's something beautiful about the irony of something so mundane as I have to piss. And then, you know? I think last words are overrated. That's why I don't care that that's, I have to piss as his last word. So you're not impressed? Eh, I okay. mean, I'm, I'm not like like astounded that I would I have to piss. I'm just saying, if I was there, I would laugh at that being his last word. I mean, his, his last words <laughs> was when he said, cut my dick off. To, to you? <laughs> you're, yeah. he, he's already gone. Yeah, your last words you know, your last words are two months ago. When you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> when you yeah, begged yeah, me yeah, to yeah, eat your cock. Apparently, yeah. he was like badgering Armin about it. He was like, dude, fucking do it. Cut my, like, he was. Yeah, yeah. So that's a pretty decent defense in court. Your Honor, I, he was bugging me to do it. I was yeah. hooking him up. Yeah. Uh, Burn, Armin took Burn to the slaughter room and began his butcher's work. Whoa, which whoa, I won't whoa. describe. So what, what happened? You uh, said so, I had to piss. So I had to piss, and he collapsed. Oh, so he, he, he took him to the butcher's to, to the butcher's room to piss. Well, he collapsed. He was out. He was like couldn't be woken up again. Those were his last words he ever said. So was he I died. had to piss. Well, he wasn't quite dead yet. Armin took him to the butcher's room, mm-hmm. where he was like, "Okay, I think he's dead. Now it's time to drain him, like you would any animal that you're kosher like they butchering." Agreed. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he was doing him kosher. Um, oh. So then he he slit the How guy's cool. throat, okay. and he was like, "Oh, you, you were still alive, kinda at that point." Um, so I won't describe all the details of how he no, butchered his friend. Yeah, do it. Because yeah. it's more disturbing than the rest of the story. He brought us through. <laughs> you know, this, come on, man. We both want to. Do, listeners, do you want to hear uh, the gory, yeah. morbid details? Yeah, you're not You're not good at like like <laughs> podcasting. Like you, Everybody's listening to this at this point is going to want to hear this. And you're, yeah. like, you're like, I'm not going to tell. All right, like, fine. No, this is when you we, tell. We got to go with Ian on this way. He's Let's very go right. In. I it's, feel the gut reaction. It's all on video. I feel the entire the time horse. Armin speaks to Burn as though he's still alive. At one point, yeah, he circles the hanging scene. body and looks at Burns' ass, commenting, quote, you've got a fat behind, fatter than I thought. But donk. <laughs> he later said he felt the burn was still with him in that room. So uh, the process took so long that Armin ran out of tape and had to drive into town to get more. Tape for the video camera? Video, yeah, he ran out of videotape. So he had to go. He drove into town. He's like, oh, you wait here. I'll be back. 
let me just go re-up. Somebody had to find out later, like, he bought, I worked at Circuit City, he bought videotape oh, for me. Oh, when this story breaks, it goes bananas. Everyone's like, just like, I, well, because it's a town of like 50 people he lives in. It's a. It's not oh, a big town. It sounds like a weird indie movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Called yeah. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> So with the butchering process, like at, he had to take the head off, he had to turn it around, he had to th- spin it around like three times to get it off, and then he put the head across the room facing the body because he was like, "Well, burned, you're still here, so why don't you watch as I butcher you?" And there's a whole bunch of things where like he would cut off a leg and then wave it at the camera, mm-hmm. and then like do really his actual his butchering technique was pretty good. Like if you want, if you were no, yeah, I'm sold. I can't wait yeah. to get my meats from this guy. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, disgusting. Mm-hmm. What's up with Germany? So I'm you shit porn now? This I haven't seen. No, God, no, I've not seen the video. But I don't the, think anybody. But can the see videos it, right? are described. So in the book, that was the main source for this. Mm-hmm. And it's his long interview with him, but it's also they go through all the court documents, and there are descriptions. Of the of what was in the video because cops had to watch the video yeah, yeah. for for everything. It's their job, yeah. yeah so they go blow by blow. Mm-hmm. I can't. I don't know if I'd choose that word, but yes. Th- th- I cannot recommend if you if you find the story at all interesting. Yeah. I'm barely. I'm like scratching. I'm skipping stones off the surface of this Why? pond because we only have about an hour and twenty minutes to do the show. I can't. Yeah, do I got and you said you gotta go. <laughs> and now you're like, do a, why are you do, rushing? I can't do a forty three part show <laughs> episode for this one. Yeah, you can. Go um, on. Go on with your fucking story. Do it. So, uh, so yeah, he, he butchered him, put him in plastic freezer bags, and loaded about 65 pounds of burned meat into a, uh, into a deep freeze. Over the next year, Armin went through his life like oh. a normal person. Occasionally pulling out pieces of meat when he's like, it's be, Saturday. To be yeah. honest, he is normal. He only did some crazy shit once. It is only one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes a little weird once. Yeah, but it's just, it's just I peed on a guy one time. Very lorrying. It's varying de- degrees. <laughs> this was like, like his, you know. This was like his, like, well, you know, I blew a guy in college. Uh, <laughs> if, if Ian was a lawyer and he gets people off on just like, he only did it once, Your Honor. And then everyone's like, actually, that's a, actually a, a pretty people, good argument. A lot of people in jail yeah. fucked up once. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, like, and that's that your learning thing. experience. Yeah. That's your learning experience. I agree. And then some people that didn't go to jail, they're like, ooh, I can't. That time, man. Hey, Armin, I'm really glad that you're Yeah, my, they learned uh, from it. They grew from I, it. They I don't... had a friend that almost, he had these neighbors that kept on fucking with him and his mom. Yeah. And just, and they would bully him. And yeah. Just to get them back. Like, he tried to burn their house down. That's hilarious. With them. And and they were drug <laughs> dealers in. and shit. Yeah. And he, he didn't, it didn't, it didn't work. He yeah. He actually yeah. tried and it didn't work. Yeah. And 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 uh, if he had, he'd be in jail now. If it, if if he was good at arson, yeah. If he was better but in his yeah, craft for that one thing in his life, that is like he wasn't really setting out to do those kind of things, but he got driven to the yeah, point. He's, yeah, he's an like, open micer. You should like, you have to yeah. at least headline a couple of B rooms yeah. before you can burn down a whole house. That's another one of your goddamn comedy references. <laughs> yeah, those twenty five people in Japan. Some people on the show act, who listen to the show humor. enjoy stand up comedy as well. Yeah, yeah I'm just do. speaking for those that don't. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm, I'm just saying, you know, this is it, and and the guy pushed him. But go ahead. You do one thing one time. You're like, hey, Armin, I'm Yo, so that, glad that you're that's my. That's you. That's you. That's what you do now. <laughs> that's all. That's all you're about. Well, I mean, that's that's all that they'll see you as now. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Armin yeah. has 60 pounds of choice meat in 65. the fucking freezer bags. Okay. And he's good at his job. Okay. Uh, 65 pounds of like high quality, high quality German. People at work on lunch break are like, hey, man, what kind of sandwich is that? You got some prime rib? Uh, sure. Sure, that's reasonable. Mind if I get the bite? Yeah, that so looks he, good. Let me get to the horseradish. And, and eats it? I don't know if he took it to work to eat it, but he definitely ate it regularly. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just living by himself in a giant in a mansion with room. a weird-ass butchery for humans, mm-hmm. eating weird sandwiches, On I'm guessing, on a roll. On I, I would roll think a some, Kaiser roll, probably. Uh, yeah, Kaiser yeah, roll. With yeah. horseradish. Yeah. Is horseradish a German thing? I don't know, but it feels like it. Yeah. Uh, while police searched for burned, Armin tried to court another brother. There was Alexander, whose email was youngmeat2001 at yahoo.com. He visited Wustfeld for six days, but Armin decided he was too fat and not eager enough to be eaten. <laughs> he wants lean meat? There was Dirk, whose email was longpigmeat at yahoogroups.com. They met in a hotel, but the banker from London decided that Armin wasn't his type. He was a banker? Yeah, he was a banker. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, these people all pretty much have good jobs. Like, a lot of them are, are fairly wealthy. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Burned, I, Burn, I think, made about, a, in, 19, in 2000, 2000, he was making $107,000 a year plus stock options at wow. the company he was working for. So he was doing well. These aren't, like, poor, shitty people. These are, like, people who are like, I have a nice apartment. Uh, I don't even, I haven't gone to Ikea in at least 15 years. 
and uh, and I yeah. I dress well. Yeah, yeah. So these people have futures, but yet they're more they're interested in getting eaten. Mm-hmm. Long pig. That, oh, that's why that's that's a name. That's like a weird cannibal name for for humans. The long pig. In case you guys didn't know that. Oh, no, I do. Yeah. Okay. Congrats. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Lo- is that because when they get hung up on the hook, they just hang longer than a pig does, or something? I don't know. I guess maybe we're, we're we. I guess pigs and humans taste similar, or something. I don't know. If we do have a lot of similar DNA, from what I remember reading. There was Thomas who came to the manor and agreed to be locked in the cage and lick Armin's boots. But after a while, they decided that their fetishes weren't a match. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a match. Mm, no. That sounds so, like a de- desperation move. Yeah, you're just trying. You're like, let's yeah, make let's, this work. I've been see. through. I've been yeah. through the scene for so Too long. Too lonely people. But but Armin, like, like like these people that he meets up with and talks to that aren't a match, he's just like, all right, get out of here. Like, he breaks up with them. Like, he doesn't just go like, I don't care if you're a match. I'm gonna fucking some of them broke you. up with him. Armin's not a pretender, bro. Yeah. I don't know if you listen to the whole story. He he's knows real. what he wants, bro. He doesn't even seem like a murderer. The way you're describing him, it's like he's he, not like a serial killer luring people in and just killing whoever. He's actually like, it has to be like an agreement with the other. Oh, my God. This is like a relationship. You assumed Armin was this person you thought he was. And, and now getting known. Out not to be and you're disappointed i don't know how disappointed and i actually might be a little bit more impressed yeah i'm, uh, I'm like i'm more on his side <laughs> than i like myself than you, than you yeah. should feel that's what right? i'm saying yeah. that's what i'm saying is because i'm like well wouldn't you've just still killed all these other people that like that came into yeah, contact yeah. with him but it's like you're just like yeah it wasn't a good fit and you're like yeah. okay so no he's, like, he's it was not... important to them that they it was important to him that they wanted to be eaten yeah 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 that was critical i mean that's important to all of us there was daniel whose screen name was Hans Hackapeter. <laughs> I think little, I know what that stands for. A little on the for. nose. <laughs> yeah. So it was the Peter that just got hacked off. It seemed like Stuck Armin had nose. finally found another brother. They spent days What's together. What's the brother the, thing? What do you that's mean? What, that's this whole thing is about trying to replace the brothers that his mother oh. drove away. The, the imaginary brother Frankie. That's what, the, that's what his defense was saying? No, that's what the psychiatrist said. Oh, okay. like, the, like all these people he's eaten or is him replacing his imaginary friend? Well, his imaginary friend replaced his actual oh, exactly. brothers and father who all left him. Yeah. And uh, this imaginary friend was like, a new brother who's with me through all this. He'll never leave me. Because I'm eating them and they'll be in my body. My mm-hmm. cells will be. Okay. So I didn't want to tip that's the hat a, too early. still a leap. I didn't want to tip the hat early really at the is. front part of the story. Yeah. But when he was 12 and after he started watching, after watching Robinson Caruso. Yeah. What he used to do was he would imagine, he would go, he would imagine like kidnapping and um gutting and eating his uh his classmates oh yeah well who did i mean school and sucked <laughs> he, 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 he describes bored. in the book how yeah. he would time uh he would time finishing while he would masturbate while thinking about it and he would time finishing with like when he would cut the stomach open in his mind i didn't want to tip the hat early so i held I, on I, to that detail i, I never masturbate that really, really makes about murdering someone when i hear stuff like that though it's two different things yeah, to me. Uh, that's what i'm saying doesn't that, that make yeah. you feel good about like how how you come i'm assuming you come similar uh to, to <laughs> not to this guy similar to myself or, like i hear that i'm like you know what i'm a pretty normal comer i'm just literally looking at like butt cheeks and i'm like all right and that's what i'm thinking about as well when i'm coming this guy is jacking off and then thinking about cutting open a belly look my advice and, to you Shevsky, is to take some more risks in your life there's a whole world out I don't there want of different things i don't want to there's so much reverse cowgirl out there that's enough for me yeah that you, da- that you is danger my, fucker. That is my cannibalism. Yeah, yeah. See, I actually, res- I, I can't respect that because you're putting your dick in more danger than bur- in, in burned level danger every time you reverse cowgirl. It's the best position. It's ever. it's the most it has the most broken dicks of any position. You know what? Not it's, doing it's, that it's, would create the most broken hearts out of you know, any sexual it. lifestyle in my mind. I get Go it. On just with your don't story. reverse cowgirl with amateurs. That's all. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, before you have a girl who's going to reverse cowgirl. Mm-hmm interview her mm-hmm. on her on her level how many stars are you in mm-hmm. reverse cowgirl can i get some recommendations she's are you a low, brigadier general of she, reverse cowgirl yeah. if you are below three <laughs> uber reverse cowgirl <laughs> stars it's not worth the risk turn around bitch turn around yeah <laughs> face me you know what i think we should do <laughs> which is also a very sexy position yeah i think okay a new product mm-hmm. that we'll start on this show mm-hmm. it's a strap that you put under the whatever you're, like you sit on a chair and you put under the chair and around her thighs. Yeah. That creates, that limits the up, up motion, and up and down motion. And then, and then the, the, the more comfortable you feel she is, then you loosen the strap. It's like training wheels. Yeah. All yeah. Right. 
That's this that shows sense. warping your mind, bringing straps strap. and things into just, just regular and conventional. Then it slowly sex. goes what do you into mean? Almond, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, he's like, and then you just have a butcher straps knife next to you in case you need to eat the woman. Straps afterwards. are not sex weird. Slayton, you've lost your goddamn crime mind. <laughs> I've I have <laughs> now this shows this, this the story, the, the depth I've gone into for this show. Searching this story has damaged you the, for the, sure. This chunk, the eating chunk. I was t- I was working on this while I was eating like a chicken salad. Oh. It was really I was I, struggling so hard. You know what? Slayton, like, you're weird, anyway. dude. Yeah, you, you know what? That happens. Really, that is true. I, w- I went to the human body exhibits. You know, oh, where they have yeah, all the body yeah, slice yeah. stuff. I'm not kidding. And this is just so weird. My, my wife and I, she's a vegetarian, but I insisted that we go to the pantry afterwards, and I got like all this beef and all this stuff. And I was like, as I was eating, I was like. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, right. After I just went and like handled all these plastic like human bodies, and then I'm eating a piece of fucking meat, and then I, I had to stop right there. I was like, "This is fucking gross." The salad today came right as I was Coming. working on the yeah right. It came, I came, the server came. It was great. No, the salad came to the table right as I was working on the the, the cooking part of this whole yeah. thing. Oh, it was so, it was so gross. very challenging. Okay, go on. All right, let's dial. Let's, let's dial. I mean, challenging me. We're almost we're almost yeah, at the finish line because I got to bounce. Unfortunately. Yep. This, there. Is a, this is a crazy story. Uh, they spent days... To, Armin and Daniel Hans Hackapeter spent days together in the manor where Armin wrapped him in plastic and marked his body for slaughter. But Daniel got pissed when Armin woke up at night and bit him while sleeping. Another day. the dead last end. guy wanted me yeah. to bite him, and now right. you... Yeah, you, you feel a little insecure about your eating skills yeah. after the first guy. Yeah. Bite me after I'm dead, right? By now, Not Armin now. was both bold and desperate to find his match. He began to brag online about his experiences with Burned, even posting still shots from the real video. Whoa! Along with new ads asking for another victim. So, so he, he didn't kill that, that guy? No. Right. No. They broke up. I mean, he was like, all right, get the fuck he out. He was like, all right, right, if you don't want to do it, I guess. All right. But he posts, posts these pictures. Are people just looking at these pictures going, ah, oh, this can't be real? This is just that like, or they're so deep down, like the, the canals yeah, of the web. This is the deep, deep web before. Like, have you seen this? Yeah. You, it's, it's like... It's like if you're a criminal and another criminal robs you, are you going to go to the cop? Sure. No. Because he stole your stolen shit? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you can't. can't. So this is like that. You can still find out fucked up stuff on the internet, but if you just like think back to around 2000, 2002, and sort of the Wild West days, yeah. fucked up stuff was way closer to the surface of the internet oh, than yeah. it is now. Stuff you can't unsee. Yeah. Decapitations and like weird shit. They're like, <sighs> okay, Heart. I'll never be able to unsee that. My friends Fuck came to my house one time when I was in high school and they went on my dad's computer and looked up rotten.com and, your dad's and then the left it on my dad's fucking computer. They just, like, I remember left. rotten.com. Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably they what I'm talking about. left that shit up on my dad's computer. I think that's the website that I was talking about with like you the decapitations. Trouble? Oh yeah, my dad was fucking mm. furious with me. And then your dad went and jacked rotten. off to it later. Rotten.com seems so tame compared to this story. <laughs> yeah, right? Eventually, your dad's a Armin got a reply from a 23-year-old med student named Reinhold. Mm. But Reinhold did Sounds not. Sounds yummy, yeah. Uh. But Reinhold did not want to be killed. He was just, just another n- normal German youth. Normal. Fascinated with creepy death stuff. Okay, morbid fascination. Instead of being butchered, this guy's a cop. The young man <laughs> wrote a letter to the German authorities. Mm-hmm. It took the German feds Something nineteen weird days. Something going on here. Yeah, he wrote, being like, "Hey." That guy, because he saw the he saw the missing person report for burned, yeah. and then he saw like this guy's like, hey, I killed this guy, and like he just he was like two hundred, he's like, I'm pretty sure this guy killed and ate that guy, and he wrote a letter to the German to the German feds who took 19 days to even begin an investigation. It's already been over a year. So sure, 19 days. Out of, the emphasis on the 19 days means nothing. Yeah, the next, I mean, 48 hours, right, is the I real. Mean, and then this guy's been bragging on the internet for. For months, a year, a year, and so I bet the like, story doesn't sound believable too. Like as a German cop, yeah. you're like, I've got better things to do than worry about your little games. Yeah, I got more questions yeah. about where you found this story than this actual story <laughs> at the L.A. Public Library. You know, so walking like, down, just walking down uh, aisle three nine four point two point nine two. It's more unbelievable to me of how you found the story than the actual like because oh, yeah. the story's so crazy. So I, I'm not going to be mad. He's at a story the sniffer. Cars. Look, sometimes I just Slayton. walk down the aisle at the the true crime aisle at the library and just look at titles. And this one said the title for this one was "Interview with a Cannibal," and I was like, "Yeah, yep, what yeah." You, that's what are you a maester? Good sniffer. <laughs> He's a good you just story. Walk sniffer. through the library and just read up. And yeah, all the shit. L- l- I've grown to love the library, other than the bathrooms. By the way, you had to wear a fucking purple bracelet. You couldn't just leave Dude, purple pur- out of this purple, fucking bruh, equation. Always you bringing it at you. Uh, Reinhold. So it took the German for 19 days to the investigation. They created an email and fake ID and reached out to Armin online who excitedly told them all the details <laughs> about how he would proceed to uh, to butcher and eat his new victim. You're not a cop, are you? You'd have to tell me, yeah? Okay, good. I like to eat their cock. 
It took 141 days after that for the court to issue a warrant. Half a year. Yeah. I mean, dude's already dead, homie. Doesn't On searching his home, police found the tapes, the slaughter room, and only 20 remaining pounds of burned. Ugh. They took Armin in for investigation, but since the tests had not <laughs> yet come back to prove the meat was human, they were forced to release him. So they walk in and find a freezer of human meat and a murder they dungeon. They don't know it's human there meat. Is Sure. Yeah. But there, if there's a murder dungeon, though, Ian, and then there's bags of A murder meat, attic, sorry. Um, okay. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah, you got to get this dungeon thing out of your mind. Yeah. Okay. Murder, murder rooms can be anywhere. They yeah. can be, they can be green, a murder greenhouse. The murder greenhouse. penthouse, yeah, the you, murder guest you, room. You, you got to open up as far as design-wise. That's true. You know? Yeah, I got I to gotta open my mind. Mark yeah. Marion would use a murder garage as opposed right. to a murder, That's, yeah. right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So they released him. Armin immediately went to a lawyer and admitted everything. Together, they made a plan. The attorney called the police, telling them his client was ready to confess. In December 2003, Armin... It was delicious, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm a good cook. <laughs> a in December cook. <laughs> of 2003, Armin went on trial. That he killed Burned was obviously not in question, but his attorneys had an inventive strategy. They argued that the death of Burned was killing upon request. Yep, a suicidal thing or whatever. Very or different from outright murder. Yeah, yeah. January of 2004, Armin was found guilty of manslaughter and sentenced to just eight and a half years in prison. But it gets crazier. One year later, the prosecutor and Armin both file for appeal. The state wants, it, um, wants a murder verdict, and Armin wants to downgrade from manslaughter to killing on request. Right. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't even know that was a killing on request. That like I, I, assisted suicide, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, basically. The second trial did not go as planned for Armin. The state argued that Burned was too impaired to agree due to the drugs and alcohol. But what about all the shit that Armin said? Be I mean, Burn said before. I, I get it. Mm -hmm. Look, dude, I get it. There's like this whole text message chain like, look, he wanted me to yeah. eat his dick. Yeah. 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 You just have proof. You keep showing it to the judge. See, as yeah. he's looking at the barbecue. And he's there. cooperating. And he's the one that took the pills. They also willingly. brought in a psychologist who made it clear to the jury that Armin would probably do it again. Ah, because there's also a history of him not doing it again. I know when he had the chance. I think Ian's to arguing to get to release how, Armin. How just, weird! How weird is this that we all kind of agree that maybe this guy, like, you're like, look, I'm just going by the story. Let's let's let's. You know what? Here, honestly, I'm not saying he's not check. crazy. Yeah, he is crazy. But he he's he, not just going around murdering people. Yeah, he, he's like straight up. Okay, you know what I mean? Would you yeah. be okay with him being released? No. If go on. hold on, if. And him doing this, as long as it all went through an official channel, like, hey, you two come into a, to like a civic office. Do you consent to being killed and having your dick eaten or whatever? You do? Okay, you put your thumbprint like in Like a here. notarizer? Yeah, like you, if, you, if people could notarize this relationship and that was the only way it took place, would you be okay with it? No, because people would abuse that. I mean, I hate to sound like a socialist now okay, because I, that. I, 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 I don't want to fucking have too much grasp on this, but like, you know people would abuse that you'd have people signing up they're like yeah i agree with a gun to their head you know that you can't see all right you know all right communist right yeah seriously. i know that's why i feel like never mind no no everyone should have the right to do this yeah you sjw oh, gross go on with uh, the story. this is, let's see in on may 2010 on may 10th 2006 armin muse was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison mm. Oh, whoa, so the appeal actually got him in more trouble. Mm -hmm. Is that he should have just shut the fuck up and done his time and he could have been out eating these ribs? Yep. Well, it wasn't it wasn't well, his both, appeal yeah. or the prosecutor's appeal. His, his appeal that got him. His appeal basically good. brought the case back open. Well, he both of them appealed, but I think they took the prosecutor's appeal, yeah, not yeah, his yeah. appeal. Yeah. So if he didn't appeal, the prosecutor would have appealed. Oh and, and yeah. Okay, so it's not like he did this to himself. Right. Epilogue. Okay. Yorg, the first candidate, was also arrested and charged with representation of violence for his suggestions that Armin eat his co-workers he wrote them both a letter of apology right. which i will post on our instagram because the letter is really fucking funny oh god today uh, crime expert experts put the estimated number of people actively involved in online cannibal communities at over one million whoa should go down mm -hmm. so do you think so is stuff actually still go, are, are there more without Arm, question like armin's are happening right now without question without question you're so confident God definitely definitely there's more how are cannibals happen. multiplying when they're eating each other i mean because well, the world's our, overpopulated right global warming i don't know if you want to inherit cannibal i don't know if that's like a hereditary i don't like it. i'm a my mom's a redhead and a cannibal and so am i it's not in hereditary. i bet you could yeah. inherit it also brain tumors. but i'm saying if there's they say there's 10 cannibals sure in 99 Okay. Mm -hmm. Like half of them meet each other. How are they like a million? No, but now? it's kind of it's kind of like there's tops and bottoms. There's like the eaters and the eaters. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a very good. Yeah, example. but still, you're eating half of your crew. So how are you? 
Yeah, what you're saying is numerically, like, where's those other five coming from yeah, to replace like subtraction them? Subtraction is you subtraction. You cut the head off the cannibal no, snake and no a new head will no, appear. No, you, you, it's like a fraternity. You have to recruit. You're like, you, know you, you, have, you have cannibal rush. You know, they, people, the cannibals are being born every day. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Regardless. Population's like growing. We're exploding here in this country. Yeah. Hansel from Hansel and Gretel, the one who was supposed to be eaten by the witch, uh, in the dark corners of the internet cannibal community is an oddly popular name. Hansel. Hansel is a very popular screen name in these in these online cannibal communities. So this is a psychological disorder where people want to be eaten. Yep. This is like those people that want to be amputees. You're like, why would you want to be an amputee? Armin continues to try to appeal his conviction on the grounds that it violates his constitutional rights. Since his imprisonment, he has reportedly assisted police with analyzing two cases of cannibal murder and has become a vegetarian. He became a vegetarian? Yeah. In prison? Oh, in prison, that's yeah. fucking hilarious. Hitler, this guy, all these vegetarians. Very interesting. Look, they both had to wear later hosen. Yeah. Both became vegetarians. Oh, my God, dude. Right? There's a connection. Today's sources include... That's uh, it. Yep, that's, that's it. That's the end that's, of that's this the fucking... story. I got, I got a bounce, guys. <laughs> we're, we're, we're done. Today's primary source is an amazing and chilling book by Gun- Gunter Stomp called Gunter Stomp. Interview with a Cannibal, as well as the UK Standard Independent, and of course, the evil robots at Wikipedia. Uh, evil Wikipedia. Ian. Ian, where can people find you? Ah, uh, shit. I'm so bad at, like, updating my shit. But uh, when you say that, like, oh, get, get, at, get at me on Twitter at Ian Edwards Comic. Same thing on Instagram at Ian Edwards Comics or the 25 people in Japan. Oh, yeah. Uh, add me on that. <laughs> That's what's up. And uh, and if you're in L.A., come to the Comedy Store and see Ian. Oh, yeah, it's uh, great. It's, it's fan-fucking-tastic. Awesome. Yeah, and I'll be in Sydney August 13th. Hell, yeah. You're going to be eaten by tw- a guy named Sydney. August 7th through 20th. Was, is Sydney a nice fella? Sydney, Australia. I oh, I've heard. I don't I've know heard. what these guys are trying to do right I've now. We're trying it. to turn it into a cannibal I'm, thing. I'm, I'm trying to plug <laughs> dates. <laughs> Follow the show on all social medias <laughs> at Crime Pod. Uh, you can email us crimepodcast at gmail for story suggestions, questions, any dick pics you want. Send those to Shevsky. He How always loves you. those. Send them so I can show them to Rich. And thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye, robot. Don't eat any penises unless unless people ask you to do it. <laughs>